you want to know what the least common war crimes in video games are. Huh. Well, there are a lot of, like, really obscure war crimes. Like, the Fourth Hague Convention, Article 23D, says that you can never say the phrase no quarter in wartime. Quarter, or, you know, like, taking prisoners, should always be prioritized over killing someone. So if you're playing a JRPG and, like, a knight soundbite is no quarter, then that's a war crime. You can't use light blue headgear as part of a combat uniform. This is similar to the whole Red Cross thing. Light blue headgear is supposed to show that these are UN peacekeepers. They're supposed to be immediately recognizable as non-combatants. So basically, the whole blue team of Team Fortress 2, that's a war crime. You can't use gas weapons like riot control gas in addition to deadly force. That's a violation of the Chemical Weapons Act. So that's basically every shooter like, you know, Apex. Everyone that has, like, a gas grenade, that's a war crime. Oh, there's interfering with or attacking fresh waterways or farms. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. So Kefka poisoning that village in Final Fantasy VI? Definitely a war crime. Though if I really think about it, there's probably some screwed up stuff you could do in Stardew Valley that also classifies. And if you're interested in what other war crimes you could commit in video games, there is a whole Twitter account called Can You Violate the Geneva Convention? It lists the game, the action, and the article of the Geneva Convention that it violates. It will also give you links to sales for these Geneva Convention violating games, just in case you want to check them out. It is worth noting that you can commit war crimes by violating other acts other than the Geneva Convention, but they don't have snappy, cool, easily marketable Twitter accounts, so what are you going to do?